Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from M11news.com. Yankees fans, let's talk about a young stud out there that's on the Atlanta Braves, who recently in the Dominican League was just tearing it up. He recently won the championship out there, uh, recently, yesterday, with a team called the Aguilas. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Johan Carmargo. A rookie that had a breakout season with the Braves last season. Some people say that he was streaky, he was hot at some point, then he simmered down. But um, looking at him this offseason in the Dominican League, he's a stud. Uh, highly marketable, too, if you place him on a team like the New York Yankees. What my idea is at this point, let's just say, let's just talk fantasy real quick. You keep Andohar, and let's say you trade for a Camargo. You platoon those two. You know why Johan Camargo has better upside than Andohar? Camargo is a switch hitter. He's also from Panama. Panama City, like the great Mariano Rivera. Not that it means anything. I'm just throwing it out, out there. Uh, he suffered a freak accident back in... August, I believe, or something like that, where he was trying to jump over the first baseline, and he landed, or not landed, his foot just got stuck on the grass, and he got injured. He injured his knee, but he recovered fast from that. It was just like a tweak, but like I said, my idea is if you don't get Machado, if you don't get Frazier, if you want to build for the future, if you want to save money, I'll say you keep Andahor and you trade for, like I said, a Camargo and you platoon them. Wait two years, do the experiment for two years, and then when Nolan Arenado becomes a free agent, you go after him because I would prefer Arenado on top of Manny Machado any day. So before Johan caught fire in the Dominican League. Just three weeks ago, people were writing articles about, let's read the title right here, it says Atlanta Braves, why Johan Carmargo should be traded. Then it says most Atlanta Braves fans are in love with Johan Carmargo thanks to his breakout 2017 season. But he may be more valuable to the team now as a trade piece than as the super utility player he's expected to be. And judging by how this guy plays, he's more than a utility player. He could be a breakout star. I'll say an all-star. Like I said, he has a markability factor to him. And that goes a long way, folks, when a player is liked like that. It motivates them. It gives them that edge to them. I don't know how to explain it, but it just does. So, yeah, I'm just throwing that idea out because this player in particular not a lot of people have been talking about him. Not a lot of people know about him. And if he's on the trading block, I mean, one of the Yankees' rivals might stoop him up, and he might be a steal. So, like I said, we don't know what Andahar is going to give the Yankees if he starts at third. So, just give somebody like a Carmargo a chance to start with the Yankees or platoon with Andahar. It's better if you keep Andahar that he platoons with another young player let's say it's worse for him if he platoons or barely plays with a Frazier at third so like I said I'm just throwing that out out there that it's better if you go with an Andahar to back him up with another young third baseman and Carmargo is an excellent choice let's say the Yankees do trade with the Braves I'll say hey you get some starting pitching as well if you're gonna trade with the Braves. Just don't stop with Carmargo. Let's uh, make a little blockbuster happen. But that's just my opinion. What I've seen from Johan Carmargo and how if you type his name in press news, you'll see articles where Atlanta Braves beat writers are talking about trading him. I mean, the guy's a stud. He just had a great winter season out there in the Dominican Republic, and he lit it up out there. A lot of people liked him. So, yeah, that's just my opinion, throwing a, another option out there. And like I said, it just makes better sense to me if you're going to keep Andahor to platoon him with another young third baseman. 
especially Cormago, a switch hitter. You don't see that frequently. A third baseman, young like that, just turned 24, switch hitter. The Yankees are lacking left-handed batters in their lineup after they traded away another switch hitter in Headley. So, yeah, something to think about. It makes sense to me when, when I think about it. So, yeah, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. Check out the main site as well, guys, NYNews.com. Share it on Facebook. Spread that around. And like I said, this has been Felix. I'll check you out next time.